Welcome to the homework for lesson 15. This is module three of grade three. Write your name first. Do that before you forget to get it on there. And we're doing some word problems. The store clerk equally divides 36 apples among nine baskets. Draw a tape diagram and label the number of apples in each basket as A. Write an, an equation and solve for A. So we have to write an equation. We got to solve for A. We got a label. Draw a tape diagram. So here we go. There's nine baskets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to need another basket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine baskets, right? And the whole thing is going to have. 36 apples. This is one basket. And there's A. A apples in each basket. And here's our equation. We've got nine A's. So nine times A equals 36 or 36 divided by 9 equals a a equals 4 there are 4 apples in each basket Elijah gives each of his friends a pack of nine almonds. He gives away a total of 45 almonds. How many packs of almonds did he give away? Model using a letter to represent the unknown and solve some model. How many packs? And then solve. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a weird tape diagram. Not just because I made it curvy like that by accident, but uh, we know that there are nine almonds in each pack, but we don't know how many packs to draw. Um, but we do know there's 45 almonds. And we'll just write in here that there are P packs of nine. So we could say forty five divided by nine equals P, or it might be easier for most third graders to think of this as a missing factor multiplication problem 9 times p equals 45 either way p is going to equal 5 there are 5 packs of almonds Denise buys seven movies. Each movie costs nine dollars. What is the total cost of seven movies? So this is like the three different kinds of tape diagrams we have on this page. One where we know this first one, we knew how many parts there were, but we didn't know what was in each part or how big each part was. And we knew the total or the, the product, the total amount. This one, we knew what went in each pack, but we know how many pack parts there were. And this one, we know everything except for the product or the whole amount. Seven movies. That's one, two, three, four, five, six lines inside make seven parts. Each movie is 
nine dollars. And we want M for our letter, you know, just because M for movies. Nine dollars. Seven equals M. M equals sixty three dollars. The movies cost sixty three dollars altogether. Have to have this picture, this labeled picture. I'm going to label this. This is one movie. Got to have this tape diagram or a labeled number bond or some kind of a labeled math picture. And here's your equation. Mr. Doyle shares one roll of bulletin board paper equally with eight teachers. So the total length of the roll is 72 meters. So let's draw the whole, we know the total length. So let's, here's a piece of tape. The total length is 72 meters. We know there are eight teachers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight teachers. So this would be one. Each box is a teacher. And we have to figure out how much bulletin board paper does each teacher get. So we'll use P for paper. They all get the same amount because it's equally. So that's eight P's. Eight times P equals 72 or 72 divided by eight equals P. Either way, P is going to equal 9. So each teacher gets 9 meters of paper. That should be enough. There are nine pens in a pack. Mrs. Ochoa buys nine packs. After giving her students some pens, she has 27 pens left. How many pens did she give away? Okay, so I'm going to draw a tape diagram again. There are nine in a pack, and she buys nine packs. So I need nine, right? One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each one of these things is a pack. It's one pack. And each one has nine pens. And we know that there are 27 pens left after she gives her students some pens. So some of these are left and some of them she gave away. Uh, she has 27 pens left. So that 27, we don't know how many nines is that. It's three nines. So these ones here are the ones that were left, which means that these 
are the ones she gave away. How many pens did she give away? Well, she gave away one, two, three, four, five, six packs. And now we have to figure out how many pens that is, not how many packs, it's how many pens she gave away. So six times six packs times nine in each pack equals, we'll, set, we'll call it G for gave away. Right, and that's 50, nine times six is 54. She gave away. Fifty four pens. And you have to have this is what the you have to have this some kind of a math picture like this. It's gotta have it's gotta be labeled so that everybody can clearly understand, somebody else can understand what this is, what these nines are, um, which ones were left, which ones were given away. Where that's where this six comes from, the, where this nine comes from. One pack, nine pens, just to leave no doubt. And we have to have our answer statement here, too. Alan buys nine packs of trading cards. There are 10 cards in each pack. He can trade 30 cards for a comic book. Well, we got trading cards, we got packs, we got comic books. How many comic books can he get if he trades in all his cards? Let's just start by drawing what we know there is. He buys nine packs of trading cards. Okay, so we need a picture of tape with nine parts. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are ten cards in each pack. So this is one pack, and this is ten cards. So these are all tens. And all I'm doing so far is I'm just drawing what it says there is. I read the first sentence. I drew a piece of tape. In the next sentence, now there's ten cards in each pack. Now the next sentence right here, he can trade thirty cards for a comic book. So that's. 10 times 3 equals 30, or you could think of 30 divided by 10 equals 3. You know that that's a comic book. It takes three packs to make, to get one comic book. So there's one comic. There's another comic. And then these three here, you can also trade for another comic book. So how many comic books can he get if he trades in all of his cards? Three. Just look at them and count them. Uh, Alan can get three comic books. <laughs> 